Hello everyone. This is the, the basketball team logo we created from my uh, previous video. Uh, so we're going to animate it today. So if you haven't watched my previous video of making this logo, please watch it. Uh, it will help you a lot. But anyway, I'm going to make a link to um, this download file uh, so you can use it. So um, this is the image we need. And also, we're going to need this background image as well. Like this. So eventually, we're going to create an animation uh, like this. Let me play it. And it will stay about 3 to 4 seconds. And we'll play again like this. Okay, so eventually I'm going to, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, you can see that on your web browser, it will look like this. And it will keep looping. Again. Okay. So um, uh, please uh, don't forget to subscribe my channel, hit the like button, and set the alarm for my latest video. Then let's get started. <laughs> Okay, so uh, first let's create a new Adobe Animate document. Uh, create new document, and then under Social Media tab, uh, we're going to make the 600 pixel by 600 uh, pixel square for the um, Instagram or Facebook, any SNS. 600, 600, 30 frame rate, and HTML5 canvas. Uh, it really doesn't matter. Uh, I'm going to choose it. So open a new file. And then, uh, please open the other basketball logo. Uh, I made a link to this uh, from the description, so you can download it. Or, please visit my previous video of making this logo. That will be even more helpful. So, open this. So, um, uh, by default, this is a group. Oh, by the way, I'm going to use this same background color. So let me open my layers panel. This bottom layer is locked. And choose that. Double click your forward uh, field uh, color. And I'm going to copy this hex code. Command C. Or Control C on PC. And back to animate. And I'm going to change my stage color to that number. Command V. Okay. So that's the color. Okay, now back to Illustrator. Let me lock this layer, background layer again. So this logo, entire thing is grouped. So what I'm going to do is, let me ungroup them. And there are several subgroups. So first thing is, I'm going to select the, uh, this white background. Big shell shape. So i uh, copy this. And then back to Adobe Animate and let me paste it. Check the, the second one, paste using AI file importer. Okay, it's good. Now back to Illustrator. This time I'm gonna copy and paste this blue shield, this thing. So copy. And Adobe Animate. I'm going to create a new layer. And edit, paste in center. Same settings. And then, let me move down. I'm holding down the shift key so I can move vertically. Down there. Let me make it a little bit smaller. 80%. Okay. All right, so it's good so far. So bottom layer, I have this white. Second layer, I have a blue shield. All right, so back to Illustrator. This time, I'm going to copy this white kind of a banner. So I did copy, back to animate make a new layer, create a new layer on top, and paste it. Okay, so let me set the position somewhere there. We can adjust it later. So maybe here. So it looks good so far. 
now. Back to Illustrator. This time, I'm going to copy these uh, letters. Basketball and then a one for all. And this kind of uh, orange yellowish uh, ribbon. So they are grouped. So let me copy this. And animate. Always create a new layer and paste it. Let me set the position somewhere there. Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. Now back to Illustrator. This time I'm going to choose these stars. Three stars. They are grouped. So uh, object, now edit, copy, and Adobe Animate. Create a new layer and paste it. Okay. And set the position somewhere, maybe there. Okay. Now, back to Illustrator. There's three things. Looks like a boomerang. Then copy. And Adobe Animate. Create a new layer and paste it. Okay and set the position. I'm going to move down a little bit. Okay, so it looks good. Now Illustrator. Basketball. Edit. Copy. And animate. Create a new layer on top and paste it. Okay, so um, it looks good. It is all set. So now we're going to animate it first. So first the thing is, let me do this way. Uh, on the bottom layer, let me zoom in a little bit. Okay, so um, highlight the all frame number 10 of each layer. So from 10 on top layer, hold down the shift key, and then I hold, um, Highlight at the bottom layers, uh, frame number 10. Then insert a keyframe. Keyframe. Now select all layers. Then place your mouse cursor somewhere in between 1 and 10. And then hold on the control or right click. Choose create classic twin. Classic twin. Okay. Now I'm playing, move my playback head to the beginning. And let me select all the first keyframes by holding down the shift key. Then in your properties panel, I want to change the end this animation speed a little bit. So um, let me enter 100. That's the maximum value. So it's going to be a little bit quicker. Nothing's happening yet. Okay. So um. I'm going to change it in some settings on the first keyframe. Place your mouse cursor, now the playhead, at the very beginning. Select everything. Okay. Then go to open the uh, transform panel. If you do not see this, it is under Windows menu and transform. I'm going to make it bigger. 200%. So twice bigger. And then also in your color effect mode, drop down menu, choose the alpha. I'm going to set the, the alpha value on the first keyframe down to zero. So it's going to be fading in like this. So we can leave it just like this, but um, it is not very uh, dynamic. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give a little bit different time gap between each layer. So first layer, I'm going to leave it. My second layer, which is a blue shield, I'm going to move it to the right, up to frame number 15. So I have five more frames. The third one, up to 20. Oops. Up to 20. And the next, grab it. 25. Next layer, grab it. Frame number 30, five more, 
and the last basketball five more see so let's play it so this happens um, <clears throat> the last one uh, this the yeah, basketball I want to give some little more time so um, uh, highlight the other last keyframe on your basketball layer the second keyframe hold down the control key now you see that mouse cursor changes so I'm going to extend it up to two seconds so it's going to be a little bit slower watch like that so it looks a little weird for now okay so now what I need to do is I need to keep all other elements the white and the blue shield and the basketball uh, text stars and everything so highlight the frame number 60 from the second layer hold down the shift key highlight the other frame number 60 on each la of all layers then insert the keyframe by clicking this so watch okay but for the basketball, I want to give some little more things. Um, highlight the first keyframe of your basketball layer. The first keyframe. Then, in your properties panel, there is options uh, for the rotation. So rotate, I want to rotate either clockwise or counterclockwise. Clockwise, one time. And watch. See? okay now what I'm gonna do is I want to give some more uh, animation kind of uh, finalizing things like as I showed you at the very beginning so um, at the end frame number 60 highlight everything okay and copy then create a new layer on the very top then highlight the other frame number 61. Then insert a keyframe. So there's nothing. This keyframe is actually the blank keyframe. Then edit, paste in place. So uh, it is pasted. The everything is pasted exactly on the same spot. Okay. Then I'm going to um, insert another keyframe after that on frame number 70. Like that. Then place your mouse cursor somewhere in between anywhere. Hold down the control or right click. Create classic twin. Okay. On 70. I want to make it a little bit smaller. So I'll choose the your free transform tool, hold down the shift key so I can keep the same proportion. Make it smaller. And I'm gonna move it up. So I'm here there. See? Okay. Highlight the first keyframe of this new layer. I want to give the other classic is option this time minus hundred. So it's gonna be a little slower. Watch. See? Oh no, faster. Okay. Then let me add one more thing. There's a background image. Let me create a new layer. I'm gonna have this layer on the right under this basketball layer okay now open that image from the link uh, please download this image from the link I provided as well so um, select all and copy then in Adobe animate in this the new layer highlight the frame number 61 
that's the exactly the same point where this basketball, uh, the, the whole logos, uh, the, the new animation begins. Insert the keyframe. Actually, this is a blank keyframe. Then edit and paste it. So it is on the back. Okay. Now, highlight the frame number 70. Insert the keyframe. Now place your mouse cursor somewhere in between in this background layer. Hold down the control or right click. Create another classic twins. We're using just the classic twins so far. Okay. Now, on frame number 70, I want to move this up to somewhere here. Like that. Okay, but as a for the other better transition, I want to have the kind of fade in effect. So on frame number 61 of this, the background layer, let me click on your image on stage, color effect, choose the alpha value down to zero. So it's going to be fading in and moving up. Watch. Okay. So it looks good. So let's test it. Under window, no, no, con controls menu, test, movie, in browser. Watch. It keeps looping. I want to make it stay about three seconds so um, people have the um, enough time to read it. Okay, so uh, it's almost kind of a two second and then maybe two and a half second. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I want to expand it up to six seconds. So I highlight the frame number six, the uh, 180 on top and the second layer, top and the second layer, insert the keyframe. So they're going to stay maybe a, uh, uh, it's almost a four seconds. So let me control task to movie in browser again. One, two, three, four. Yes. See? Okay. So that's it. Uh, I hope that you enjoy this tutorial. Uh, we just used the classic twins this time. I uh, hope you enjoy this uh, tutorial and then uh, you can use it for your future project. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Shoo, shoo, shoo.